Every time I pray for better days, every day feel it coming on the way. Gotta step on every pace, and no matter what it takes. Stop losing, man, I got belonging. It's a girl gonna. Hi guys, this is your girl Nivea Princess. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make a quick video, basically to talk to you guys about um, the process of me dyeing my hair red. So obviously you guys know because of my short videos that I used Adore um, Raging Red and Tintation Red Velvet. I mixed those two to get the color that I have currently as of today. So the first time that I colored my hair, it did not work because it just didn't take. I knew that I had to either bleach my hair or use toning powder. Now, what is the difference between the toning powder and the bleach? Toning powder lightens your hair. Like if it's already highlighted, it just makes it more blonde. And then the bleach is if you don't have anything done to your hair and you want to make it as light as possible, it can lift it up to eight levels. I think the toning powder lifts it up to three to four levels. So I automatically knew that if I use bleaching powder, my hair does not go well with bleaching powder. I know it was going to thin my hair out. It was going to dry my hair out. And so I said, nope, I am not going to use no bleaching powder. So while I was at the beauty supply store, I found this product called Kaleidoscope. And it said violet toning powder. Go to my shorts and you see a video that shows you what it looks like. I purchased it because it says <clears throat> it lifts your levels three to four levels. I purchased it and this is the result of what I got. The toning powder lifted my hair, lightened my hair, and allowed me to put my red hair dye on there. And so this is what I got. Now, what happens after you bleach or tone your hair with toning powder or bleaching powder? Some of the things I experienced is I have curly ends. You know, I don't have the blunt ends anymore. Um, there's some locks that have the blunt ends and then there's some locks that have the curly ends So that's one of the things that happens whenever you bleach or lighten your hair with really really harsh chemical Another thing that I notice is it dries your hair out So ever since I colored my hair, I have been making sure I spray it every day with rose water I have this Nubian rose water that I made that is wonderful for your hair and then I also use my Nubian Grow Oil and I put that in my scalp. I massage everything really, really well. And this is what I got. So I am excited. I am happy at the results. Now I will say this, I am not a professional. I am not a loptician. I am not an expert. I am simply a human being such as yourself that likes to color my hair and I've been doing it for years. One of the reasons why I got locks is because I did not want to mess with my hair as far as getting hairstyles, buying different wigs and all that stuff. Did I still want to color my hair? Yes. And I waited up to a year before I did that. My hair is fully locked so I knew my hair was not going to unravel. The biggest thing I was scared of is my hair breaking away from the roots because I know what bleach does to my hair. This is why I use toning powder. They are both harsh, but the toning powder lifts up to four or five levels. The bleach lifts up to eight levels or above. I kept it low because I knew that my hair can handle a low damage instead of a high damage. So, i.e., this is why I use the Violet Kaleidoscope toning powder if you go look at my shorts you will see what it looks like so i am happy that i did it i am happy with the color and the result of my hair and i just wanted to come on here and basically show you guys close up what it looks like so hopefully you can see it but i'm definitely happy at the result and i cannot wait to continue to grow my hair i cannot wait for my roots to grow so i have the black roots and then it looks like i have highlights on my tips so 
stay tuned for more videos i'm definitely going to update you guys every month to show you guys what the hair is gonna look like i am not messing with it i'm gonna let it be my hair is stronger it is not um as dry as it was after i colored it because i've been making sure i oil my scalp and i moisturize my scalp daily so if you have any questions on what to do what might happen what i would highly recommend is leaving me a comment and i will definitely respond back please be respectful please do not be hateful and do not be angry because if you are i'm just gonna block that's it and um also if you want to know more go back to my videos watch my videos you will see that I take time to explain every single thing to you guys I don't sugarcoat anything I don't hide anything I let you guys know how I'm feeling where I'm at with my journey so I started this journey June 10th of 2020 sorry that's the AC June 10th of 2022 right now we are in August I think today's August 30th so I have been locked for July 14 months <laughs> 14 months i'm horrible with math so i cannot wait to see what my hair looks like in 16 months and 18 months because like i said i'm very very hairy and my hair really does grow like my hair grows like don't worry about these baby locks that i have right now my hair grows so it's just because i started off with lock extensions long story go back to my channel you'll see so thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more bye <laughs>